we all know that Microsoft is either doing one of two things. Number one, this is the good case scenario for all of us. I'm talking about us as consumers. Hey, hey, call, call Bill, call, you see they just did it at the press conference? Oh my God. Yo, hey, we got this. Oh yeah, I'm kind of, oh yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good. In our worst case scenario, Game over. That's it. We're done. We're we're done. That that's it. Call. Call Bill. Call Bill. Did you see what they had? Did you see the press conference? <laughs> Did you see their games? We don't have any games. None. All we have Our television shows and crappy connect games that nobody plays. Did you see the old man? He looked like a real old man. It looked like my granddaddy. We don't got that. Did you see all of the companies that they had? Guess what? They got Bungie. They got, they got Bungie. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. That's it. Xbox is done. PlayStation wins. That's it. That's it. What's going on, guys? I'm Venom Tumane, and before I say anything, let me address that past video. It was uh, will the PlayStation 4 fail because of innovation? A lack of innovation. I was just, that video was a joke. It was serious, but it was a joke. It was supposed to be funny. A lot of you guys understood. A lot of you guys just didn't want to understand it because you're a Sony fanboy. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's nothing wrong. Whatever. Next video is going to be the Xbox 360. Not next video coming. I'm talking about like the next video like that is going to be the same. But it's going to be the Xbox. Yeah. Now, on to the good stuff. Man, oh man. Oh my God. What did we see at that press conference? Gold, brilliance, amazingness, next generation, this, miss, miss, miss. Now, guys, the PlayStation 4. We heard so many rumors now. Now, it can't be a substantial leap because of the, the economy. Now, we do not know the price of the system. So I'm not gonna get too excited, but I'm excited, man. I'm excited. If I don't know if you guys know this, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't want to hear it, but now you're gonna hear it because now I'm on the Sony, you know, the Sony bandwagon. They are now accepting me for praising the system right now. Um, I am not a fanboy for either one of the systems. I'm going to buy whichever system is the best. Now I would love the Microsoft's I would love Microsoft system to be the best only because PlayStation has had two generations and I want Xbox to have two generations. Xbox had this generation with the 360. I want them to have the next one too. That way it'll be even, you know? 
yeah. And plus, I'm on Xbox Live, so it can just carry all my stuff over. But I have no problem getting a PlayStation 4. You saw that game, you saw them games, you saw them graphics. It was a. Listen. Man, first they showed that dual shot. That dual shot, I'm proud. I'm. Now they didn't say, I don't know if it's a 3.5 millimeter jack at the bottom of it like the Xbox 60 controllers. No, that's not a joke talking about they're not innovative. Whatever. But, like, you can plug in your headphones into the uh, controller, which is great because USB into the system or wireless, it was cool, but whatever. They didn't mention much about Bluetooth capabilities, and I don't remember the exact specs, but whatever, whatever. I remember 8 gigs of unified memory. I remember you being able. They said that the load times are going to be basically non-existent, and the games, first of all, look amazing, and there's so many games that they showed. I wasn't expecting them to show any games. They showed so many games, and they still said, this is only scratching the surface, because I had E3 going to show so many games. I didn't see Kingdom Hearts 3, but hey, they still have time. E3. Square Enix, make it happen. Tutsuya Nomura. Now, I'm just so excited, I'm pumped! Look at, you saw these games, the visuals, it looked like high-end PC! Like, my goodness, man, looking great, looking great, PlayStation 4, oh my goodness, yes, give me more, woo! Can't wait till E3, but wait, wait a minute, this, I'm even more excited because Microsoft, now nah, you gotta raise the bar, boy! You got, if, if, if your visuals ain't good, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I mean, I, I honestly expect the Xbox 720 and the PlayStation 4 to be basically neck and neck in terms of visuals. I think the graphics are going to be both like that because if you didn't know Watch Dogs, which was shown at the press conference earlier today, you guys seeing this the day after, but it happened today. Um, Watch Dogs was shown actually at the mic at Microsoft's at the Xbox E3 press conference. So. With it being shown at the press conference at PlayStation today, and it was shown first shown at the Xbox press conference, that lets me know that the the visuals, you know, because Watch Dogs is a pretty visually good looking game. So that kind of gives me the idea, yeah, they're going to be, you know, neck and neck. In terms of Killzone, the game looked like a cutscene. Now, I do know that when they first unveiled Killzone, the first one, like, <laughs> which is, which is crazy. It was CGI. It wasn't gameplay. They was CGI to make it look like gameplay to make the pl PlayStation 3 look better, which is bad taste. But whatever. This I, that was amazing, man. My goodness, it wasn't CGI. The guy was playing, and then you want to know what else? He shared it on Facebook. It's on Facebook right now. My gosh. My gosh. So many things like. All those games, they looked amazing. It was one game by Capcom. It looked so good. It looked so good. Oh. Woo! Woo! Next generation, boy. Next generation. Woo! I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Woo! Yeah, But Venom, what about the Nintendo Wii U? PlayStation 4, man! My goodness, now, when the Xbox press conference happens, I think that's probably gonna be announced next week because their press conference is happening, like, at the end of March, uh, around GDC. So, Microsoft, I hope you got something in store, because you got, you gotta, if you wanna beat Sony, hey, that bar's up here. You gotta come up here. Okay, you have to come up here. That brand isn't gonna save you. That nope, that brand is don't get don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, cause you about to get caught up. My next video with that when I'm to tack when I'm talking about you, your faults, why the Xbox 720 can fail? Oh man. Oh man, I can't wait to hear the fanboys for that one. I mean the fanboys for the PlayStation was hilarious. Like people people didn't understand and it was cracking me up, man. I almost replied to somebody, but I didn't. I didn't. I was like, hey, I reply in video form. No, I mean, no, I mean. <laughs> so, Microsoft, you guys, you got to come to that bar. Um, 
like the visuals have to be there. You don't just dwell on yes, you have you can watch television, which I pray you guys don't. Um What can I say? You got a you got a lot. You got a the the, whew, the PlayStation set the bar. And I'm not that I'm um, I want. I, I have it in the back of my mind. I'm worried about the Xbox like Oh goodness, you're not gonna you're not gonna look that good, I don't think. But I th- honestly think the visuals are gonna be basically there. They're gonna both be like that. If if any, I think the PlayStation may be a bit powerful. I mean, even the Xbox can be a bit powerful, but PlayStation may be a bit powerful, but not like a noticeable difference. I don't I don't think Microsoft's gonna compromise. No, no. Upon further review of the press conference, we noticed that they kept saying immediacy and words like that. Um, and they were talking about, you know, not waiting for the disc to s- spin and stuff and immediately starting the game. Well, I want you guys to ask yourself, what does that mean? With there being talks, you know, rumors of you know, no used games and stuff and rumors of all of this stuff. And then with them saying immediacy, it's going to be fast, quick. You're not going to need to, you know, let your disc spin. What does that mean? Look at look at everything that we've seen. The price of the console. I mean, they didn't even announce the price. They said it was coming out this year. And they didn't announce the price. What could keep that price at bay? Removing what? The disc drive, guys. The disc drive. Seems like there's not going to be a disc drive in the PlayStation 4. It's going to be digital or something. I don't know, but it looks like it's going to be like that to keep that price at bay and to keep everything fast and streaming and whatever. So, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I don't know if our internet speeds are as fast for streaming. Maybe there will be two models, one model with a disk drive, one model without one. The 429, you know, with, without, 500 with, I don't know. Yeah, back to me upstairs. So, anyway, what do you guys think? What did you guys think of the press conference? Are you all of a sudden you know? Are you just straight up on the bandwagon? You don't care what the Xbox is. You don't care about that. You just saying, you know what? Forget that PlayStation Four. Are you like you holding off like me? You know, saying, you know what? I'm gonna wait to see what the Xbox have. Are you a fanboy saying, you know, I don't even need to see play. I don't even see Xbox. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I'm buying. It. Are you a fanboy? Cause there's nothing wrong with that. No, I'm not being a fanboy. I'm not one. I'm just no, you're not wrong. There, you be a fanboy. I'm, I'm, but let me let me know what you guys think. Oh, man, that was a good show. Whoo, man. So always thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. Letting me know what you guys think. Conversation, conversation below. <coughs> subscribe if you're new. <coughs> I'm so excited. <coughs> Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Man, that PlayStation 4. Woo! That was crazy. Goodness, that was ridiculous. <laughs> My goodness, ridiculous, man. You saw the old man. Man. I was like, sca- I was scared. That one puzzle game looked stupid. That one puzzle game looked stupid. I didn't like it. I actually laughed through the whole My camera just ran out of memory while I was ranting about that one puzzle game that looked stupid. It looked stupid. I don't like it. You have to walk around it. It was 25 hours of that? No. It's not for me. I mean, sure, other people may like it. There's no wrong if you like it, but I didn't like it. Peace. Peace. Long video. Peace. Whatever. And I don't hate Sony. I don't hate any of the companies. I just found that Sony innovation problem. Microsoft got a problem too. Like to make a lot of promises. Expect that in the next video talking about these companies. Hey, I make I may even make one about Nintendo. Peace. Peace. I I may even make one about that that dang that dang on company that delayed that game, Rockstar. I may even make you ooh, I may well make video about you. Hmm. I made my make video about Square Enix. This be a little. This be a little. This, this will be a little old shitties. I could do that. I could start a series talking about you, y'all companies making me mad. Peace. <laughs>
Oh, I'm hilarious. Don't, don't give me your opinion about peace. <laughs> I'm still talking. Stop! Peace. We could speculate all we want, but what's important is the Joel Weaver. He's worked on some films. He's working on the Noah movie. Today is day 12 of filming, and Mark Webb tweeted yet again another picture.